One Evansville family thankful to be alive this evening after a tree came crashing through their home. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shelley Kirk. I'm Brandon Bartlett. Strong wind knocked down that tree in the 1700 block of Coker Avenue this morning. It trapped two people inside of their bedroom. Eyewitnesses Cody Bailey with their story tonight. It's just unbelievable. It's a wake-up call she did not expect. Just before 7 o'clock this morning, strong winds toppled this tree on Ava Jones's home, waking her and her family. When I opened up my eyes, I sat up and I noticed that I could see the outside and there was stuff flying around and it was kind of quiet, you know, just kind of almost like an eerie quiet. Jones was forced to climb out her bedroom window to re-enter the home through the front door. That is when she heard the unsettling cry for help coming from her daughter's bedroom. And all I could hear was my 16-year-old screaming that she was trapped, she couldn't get out. She had a little slither of ceiling left just to, I guess, protect her. We're very lucky to be alive and just for the whole family. Neighbors woken by the noise called for help and firefighters on the scene were able to rescue Jones's daughter uninjured from the home. Now the reality of the loss begins to set in. It took me a minute to actually process it because it was like, you know, I was almost in shock of what was going on. Jones believes her home and many of the family's belongings are a loss. Another heartbreak to endure less than two months after losing her husband. I do believe he was watching over us. Some, somebody had to have been because we all came out of the house untouched. Reporting in Evansville, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News.